Sunday, so that means it is song review day. Today I am going to be reviewing Christina Aguilera's new song called Accelerate. I have not listened to this song at all yet, so this will be my first reaction and first review on this song. I do like her as a singer, she has an incredible voice. This is her first album in six years, so I have high expectations for someone who hasn't produced anything for six years and then they come out again with a new full-length album. So high expectations for this song, for the quality of the production and the quality of the sound. She can sing four octaves, which is like um, a B flat to a C sharp. And that is crazy because that's like low range to like whistle range and whistle range is intense because it's so high. It's like Mariah Carey high. Excited to review this song. Let's have a listen. Very interesting intro. The first five, six seconds. Not contemporary at all. There's no tempo in that. There's no standard tempo. It's almost, it makes the listener curious, like, um, did I, did I press play in the middle of the song? Is this the beginning of the song? Like, what is happening here? And then the bass comes in and kind of lays a tempo and a foundation for the song. So you're like, oh, okay, this is the beginning of the song. <laughs> Melody, I'm not... A huge fan of right away. That melody is overplayed in my opinion. It's a very sway melody. That kick drum comes in really hard. I'm kind of excited. I'm very excited to see what the hook in the chorus is going to be. So let's have a listen to that. I think the hook will come in the next beat. Interesting, I think she she hasn't even gotten to the hook yet, unless that was the chorus and I'm confused. Okay, so this is a complete switch in the song. So that was verse, verse, chorus, verse with some small chorus. This is definitely strong hip hop influence in this song. You can hear it throughout the bass uh, and the kick drum with obviously there is hip hop rap in this song as well. I'm not a hip hop fan, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little lost. It's getting a little long. I'm, I'm getting a little distracted. Want another hook to come in. That's just because I'm not a hip hop fan, but I can groove with it. It has a nice groove, very standard hip hop. Nothing, nothing new here. Nothing that's really jumping out at me as very creative here. It's so funny that this song probably costs millions of dollars to produce, but this basic kick drum and sound I can make on my laptop, you can make on your laptop with free software if you have a Mac. You can make that beat with GarageBand. So it's crazy though that this probably cost a few million dollars just to produce. So looks like it's coming into the final chorus here. I'm not a fan of this chorus. I don't think it uses Christina Aguilera's powerhouse vocals that she has. She's hitting a range that she's just way too comfortable with and it's not showing her true skill set of a, of a powerhouse female vocalist. She's really hiding the vocals here unless there's going to be something coming out in the last minute where she really comes forward. She hasn't really brought a lot to the table in terms of her vocals yet. Very nice harmony here. This is a classic major third harmony that sounds so good to your ears. Let's play that again. Coming up here. Sounds so nice to your ears. It's just, it's just, it's just harmony. It sounds good. I'm not sure if the song is over yet. It's gone completely down almost to like zero dB here. And I think it's over unless she, unless she comes out with a massive final hook. So let's see. 
So that's the end of the song. I'm not a huge fan of the song. Really never caught me. There's not much of a big hook in this song. It doesn't really show Christina Aguilera's true powerhouse vocals. I'm gonna give it like a, a six, five, five on 10, six on 10. I don't think it will be a huge hit this summer. It's more of a lounge vibe. You can't really dance this song other than swaying to it. Christina Aguilera has an enormous name in the industry. She is powered by RCA Records, which is a big, big label, and they're gonna push her out everywhere. So you will be guaranteed to hear this song on the radio. It won't be as big in my opinion, just because it really didn't grab me in, in that. And I don't, I think it's not gonna grab a lot of other people unless you're a very big Christina Aguilera fan. 